At least from a ministry perspective, I can tell you that um, it's been a very fruitful experience for me as the new Minister of Home Affairs. Uh, we have already instituted some beneficial changes, in my opinion. Uh, the disbanding of the GSU and the introduction of a new unit, uh, the GI3, that is underway. We have a situation that concerned the welfare of police officers uh, who, as you know, were a part of the population most affected by COVID. Uh, we had at one point 300 police officers who were suffering uh, with COVID positive. They were COVID positive and um, two of our officers died as well from COVID. And so we introduced a ticketing system that now limits their interaction with the public. That is something, again, very positive. Um, we have been liaising with various uh, embassies like the U.S. Embassy to come up with a uh, witness protection program. So it's not just limited to the enforcement aspect, but also trying to secure convictions in our judiciary. That is something that we are very proud of, working on that type of legislation. And of course, overall, changing the culture and the approach of police officers. That is something that I find is significant as the new Minister of Home Affairs for my particular mandate because prior to the election, I can tell you that I have lawsuits, uh, including the loss of my dear friend Alison Major, uh, to the hands of a police officer. And so when I come into this position, that is my approach. That's a song that I will sing day in and day out to my police officers, that you have to approach people with respect, with manners. I understand that at times you will be attacked and you have to defend yourself. But for the most part, we have to be able to change this culture of abuse and brutality within the department. It's not going to happen overnight. A lot of people think that, oh, because Karim is a new minister, I'm going to change the way 2,200 officers operate, when in fact this has been something ingrained in them uh, for years, uh, for decades. Um, so trying to change that culture is a huge part of my mandate, and I look forward to, at the end of these five years, having a reformed police department. Um, we've been cracking down Courtney, on corrupt police officers, especially those involved in the drug trade. Uh, if you would recall from your newscast, two police officers have since been busted transporting cannabis into the country. Uh, police officers were also involved in the plane landing. They have been arrested and charged. And so there is this zero tolerance approach that we want to put in place against corruption and against abuse.